You guys have a really young squad, nine new freshmen. Do you sort of, as the team captain and one of the guys who have been there before, push them a little bit differently this week in terms of making sure they're ready? Yeah, you know, I mean, our focus really has been the whole year has been taking one practice at a time, you know. So I, I think we're taking the same approach uh, this week, you know, in terms of getting ready for the tournament, just one practice at a time, just, you know, keep, keep pushing as hard as we can, you know, just to, you know, get ready and try to get, get ourselves better. So it's really been just kept that same approach the whole year. So, Looking at that last UNH game on the road, you guys trailed by double digits for the most part, just seemed a little bit flat. Do you bring maybe a different game plan or some different ideas going into this game? Uh, you know, really looking back at it, we, we had to just play harder. I mean, you know, looking back on that game, we just we didn't play hard enough. And they they out toughed us. They they played better defensively. They beat us loose balls, and, and that's really the key to the games. That you know, and that's the key to us. You know, uh, really succeeding. So that's really what it was. They just out toughed us, and so that's what really uh, we got to focus on this this time around. Now you guys. Uh used it as kind of motivation against Albany, uh, not Albany, I'm thinking UMBC, big loss at the beginning of the year, and then used that kind of as a chip on your shoulder coming into the second game, and then uh, took care of him at home. Do you think you're going to be going into this game kind of with the same mentality after a tough loss? Yeah, you know, I'd definitely be uh, thinking about that game um, because they really uh, outplayed us, and, and UNH is a great team, so I'll give them credit, but uh, they really outplayed us, out-toughed us, and, uh, you know, that's... Obviously, it doesn't feel good on our side, so you know we have to, you know, try to, you know, keep getting better and, and, and fix our, our problems. So. With John out last week, DJ stepped up and led the team in scoring in both games. How have you seen him mature, change a little bit in this eight-game winning streak? Yeah, DJ, you know, he's been great. He's a freshman. He's really stepped up big time, you know, in absence, especially with John last game. But uh, you know, you just see his maturity develop from you know, beginning of the season to now, and him being more aggressive. You know, definitely opens up the floor, um, and uh, it's really a huge asset to our team when he's aggressive because he can really score the ball. So it's uh, it's great, and we need him to keep doing it. So. On the other side, UNH has Tyrone Conley, who's obviously one of the best players in the conference, but Chandler Rhodes has really stepped up since Ferg Myrick went down. How do you game plan for him as a fast guard who's also a little bit bigger? Right, yeah, uh, both great players, and uh, we're definitely looking forward to the challenge of, of guarding both of them and you know playing against them. Uh, we just got to focus on um, on playing, you know, team BU basketball, which is five guys against one, and really helping each other out, you know, because, you know, Conley's a great player, and so is Rhodes, so we're just going to have to play good team defense, really be looking to help each other out um, on the weak side, and be able to step up and contest late and stuff like that. So it's really going to come down to us playing together as a team against those two guys. Pat doesn't think about it much anymore, but uh, your last playoff uh, game was against uh, in the MAC tournament, an overtime loss. Does that have you extra motivated, extra itch ready to go this week? Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it definitely adds a lot of motivation. You know, but just just being here is exciting, and, and it's just an exciting time. So you, you don't really need too much motivation, you know. But you know, just to be here with your teammates and just. You know, loving this time of the year and having an opportunity to play in such a great tournament against great players, it's been fantastic. So, you know, uh, it's just a great opportunity for us and grateful for the opportunity. So. You're a pretty emotional, energetic guy. How do you somewhat calm yourself down through the playoffs? Yeah, I know. Uh, you just you just got to kind of just breathe and, 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 you know, focus on what coach is telling you to do. Try to, you know, implement the game plan as best you can, you know, because your adrenaline's going and, and you want to do the right things all the time, but you really just got to, you know, believe in what coach is telling you and just try to do it the best you can and just uh, breathe and take your time, you know. So it's kind of just do it. Uh, have, uh, have there been any things that uh, coach uh, uh, has, uh, has really kind of like uh, focused in on uh, in practices over the past few days in the lead up to the game? Uh, really just. Um, Really just staying together more, you know, just, uh, you know, being tighter as a group and we're working more on defense and rebounding. Uh, that's what we've been stressing all year, and but this week in particular, because, uh, you know, that's what we're going to need in, in the tournament and against a game against the UNH. Uh, we have uh, tremendous uh, offensive threats. We're going to have to guard them and we're also going to keep them off the boards. And really that's, that's what's uh, going to help us succeed.
So. You guys haven't played on back-to-back -back days since October. Obviously, you have to win on Saturday to get there. But how does that change the mindset, potentially playing those two days and with John coming off an injury, with Jeff not 100% healthy? Uh, you know, it really doesn't change the mindset because, uh, you know, we're only guaranteed one game right now. So, yeah, you have to, you know, put all your cards on the table for this one game and leave it all out there uh, and just give everything you have and then, if there is another day that we have, then we'll, we'll figure it out from there, you know? But really, we just take it one day at a time and put everything we have on the table and give it 100%. One more question. You were at Vermont last year. I don't know if you were in Hartford, but after watching at least one of those games live, do you see a difference in maybe the MAC versus the America East and what it brings to the table? Uh, I think they're very similar uh, and uh, very similar. And, you know, especially in the way the tournament set up, you know, quarterfinal, semifinal, and final, and anything can happen, you know. Uh, on any given night, anybody can beat anybody. That's why it's, it's so important to give it all you have on, on, the, on the first day. Um, you don't get, basically, you're guaranteed that, only, that quarterfinal game, and that's it. So anything can happen, and that's the similarities between the two tournaments, because both teams, in both uh, leagues, the teams are so balanced. So it's really important that, you know, just lay it on the line in that first game.